your junior linebacker Cadillac Roan, a couple of days ahead of the season opener at Tulsa and Cadillac. Uh, long wait. Maybe the longest you've been between football seasons, perhaps, mm -hmm. maybe with the exception of COVID. How eager is this team to get out there and, and hit someone not wearing purple and white? Uh, I feel like we're very eager. You know, like you said, it was a long off season, uh, a lot of weight training sessions and a lot of running. And then finally spring practice and uh, fall camp. And we just always been hitting each other. So I feel like we, def we definitely are eager to go and face somebody else. For you guys, it was a long wait, but it also was a lot of time to get to know this new coaching staff. That had to be a bonus to see, to get to know those guys in a little bit longer time with a little bit more of a ramp up into the season. Uh, yeah, I feel like everything happened for a reason, you know. So the longer offseason, it did give us uh, more time to, you know, gel with the coaches and everything and understand their, like, their coaching philosophy and their game plans and everything. So, yeah, I definitely feel like everything happened for a reason. You guys got to work a lot with Coach Smelser in the summer and then into camp. How, uh, how did this camp and preseason rank in terms of toughness for you since you've been here? Uh, I would say it was, it was pretty tough. It was pretty tough, I'm not going to lie. Coach Smelser, he really put us to work, but, you know, we went out there as a team and stuck together and we got through it, we worked through it, and we gave it all we had. We ready for the season. How, uh, how did that affect going into camp, you know, being in shape? I mean, do you feel like you guys maybe were a little bit ahead of the curve because of that? Uh, yes, sir. I feel like uh, Coach Smelter did a great job preparing us for fall camp and the schedule that we were going to have. And uh, just, yeah, we were, I feel like we were in shape. A whole lot of new. You're, you're doing something new. You're playing a new position for you. I mean, how has that transition gone so far? Uh, really, I've just been taking it day by day, thanking God for the opportunity to go out and play football. I'm taking it as, like, this is a new opportunity for me to prove I can be more physical and tackle better and just continue to work on my game. You, uh, you ended up being a national statistical leader last year with forced fumbles per game. You, you got a, I mean, Charles Tillman had the peanut punch. Is there a, <laughs> is there a fun little nickname if you pop one ah. out there? Uh, no, no. The wrong no, rip, sorry. maybe? The wrong rip. <laughs> no, I, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a nickname, but I mean, I just go out there and I just love playing football and doing what I got to do for the team. For this team, uh, what is, what is the mood going into to Thursday? Uh, I feel like it's excitement, you know, it's excitement in the air, you know, it's been a long time since we've been strapped up and went against somebody else. And I feel like everybody's just like anxious and eager to get out there and play football. Chad Light, thanks for your time. No problem.